In Ireland, you drive on the left. On narrow roads like these, take your time. Everybody works together in a scenic do -si do up and over the mountain. With the help of a good map, I often take the slow, more memorable route. The dramatic Connor Pass leads to the scenic southwest tip of Ireland, Dingle Peninsula. Over a hundred inches of rain a year give this area its famous 40 shades of green. Dingle Peninsula offers an ideal mix of far and away beauty, archeological wonders, and desolate walks or bike rides, all within convenient reach of its main town. My Irish dreams have long been set here on this sparse but lushly carpeted peninsula. The people of Dingle are close to the land. When I asked a local if he was born here, he thought for a second and said, no, it was about six miles down the road. When I asked if he'd lived here all his life, he said, not yet. Dingle is so traditionally Irish because it's another Gaeltec, a region where the Irish culture survives, subsidized by the government. While English is always there, the signs, menus, and songs often come in Irish, or Gaelic, first. Teenagers from Ireland's big cities come here for summer camp, filling old-time school rooms to learn the traditional language and Irish ways. Time. Can us time, eh? Time. We'll touch the sauce to the new Tell me, I'm sauce to. Anna We'll touch the sauce to the re. Well, to call sauce to the re. Tell me. Oh, Anna Varifat, Tom, call sauce to the re. And here, Irish songs are sung in Irish. Sheer, not sheer. 